But the, life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Are you a Marvel fan? Then you most likely know the actor of Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, you probably do. Then you may have heard something sus in the short video from the beginning. What the author of the video has done is called Deepfake, and in this video we will give you a bit of insight into this topic. Prepare yourself to witness the best, most unique, most exciting, exclusive and informative video you could possibly imagine. Or perhaps not. In the next phase of this amazing discussion, or however you want to call it, we will tell you all you need to know about deepfakes, their pros and cons, the areas of application and some examples. So what exactly are deepfakes? If you don't know, easy. Let me explain it. Deepfakes is deep learning artificial intelligence to replace life and support person with meta and video and other virtual media. Their concerns for deepfake technology can be used to create fake news and misleading content with videos. Could you maybe, I don't know, explain it in a way that humans can understand it? Fine. A simpler version would be that deepfakes are videos and other digital media, like audios, for example, that use artificial intelligence to change the appearance and other characteristics like the voice into someone else. That's better. It isn't that hard to make it understandable, is it? Now, who invented deepfakes? Boring. You just have no idea what's interesting. You see, in 2014, this guy named Ian Goodfellow used the invention of generative adversarial networks, which consist of two artificial intelligence agents. One of them creates an image. The other one tries to detect if it's fake. If the picture gets exposed, the part of creating the picture gets better and adapts to the problem to make it even faker. In this way, these two components are becoming more and more efficient, which of course impacts the result in a positive way. Artificial science is there to make the process itself faster, but it still takes a lot of time to put a person into another situation or, in other words, to deepfake them. It's important to add that the process is hardly straightforward, meaning that your job is not just to put pictures into the program and the rest will happen alone. I repeat, boring. Then tell me, what do you find interesting? Finally, so now that you know what deepfakes are, let's get to the truly interesting part. What are they used for? Deepfakes have been used for a lot of stuff. My favorite use are fake news, using deepfakes to trick people. Wait, how is that your favorite use of deepfakes? That is simply concerning. Do you have any idea how much damage something like this can cause? Well, let's say a few of its uses are quite evil. But we will come to that later. Don't make it look like it doesn't have any positive uses. We'll see. Anyway, the way deepfakes work is pretty simple and understandable. So let's imagine you want to make a deepfake. The magic behind it is that your computer learns how the person looks from different perspectives. After combining what the computer learned with the computer graphics, you get yourself a deepfake. Let's get back to the point. Which is, how can I make a deepfake to trick my 90 year old neighbor into giving me all this money? That is not the point of the video. But technology is growing so fast. How can I not make use of that the fact that people can't differentiate really between reality and fake? Stop being a bad role model. There are already enough fake pictures on the internet. We don't need more of them. They even slowly progress from low resolution pictures to complete videos. And those deepfake videos allow us to bring chaos to the world. Be serious. This ability of deepfakes has been used by people to present sexually explicit content. In 2017, for example, a few people used deepfake technology to make it look like certain people, for example, actors, were in the sexually explicit content that they were presented. These people, of course, weren't actually in those videos, but that doesn't make it any better. This cannot only affect celebrities, even if it is more likely to happen to them. So something like this can happen to anyone who has enough pictures of them in the internet. It really destroys people's reputations. So why are they called deepfakes anyway? Well, the term deepfake has become a synonym for AI-generated images and videos, because the word deep refers to a neural network or the way the machine has to learn, which we discussed at the beginning. It also has something to do with layering the pictures to cooperate in the image generation. The word fake is even more complicated to explain. Imagine it stays for the product being fake at the end. 
you want to know it's truly unbelievable. This technology that can be so easily abused is usable by about everyone. Sounds crazy, right? That's because it is. You can try to simply Google how to make a deepfake and you get tons and tons of tutorials, explanations and tips. So first you download an app, for example, fake app or deepface lab. I might have overdone this bit when I said everyone can make a deepfake. Because to be able to make a rather good deepfake, you need a pretty good device. Because you need a lot of pictures for deepfake, which means that your device where you decide to make your deepfake has to have a lot of storage. The quality of the device can vary depending on what kind of deepfake you want to have at the end. Now why don't we get to the most important thing that you have to mention when you talk about deepfakes. Through the video we already mentioned a few of the problems that exist because of this technology. But you see, besides making false explicit videos with famous people in it, and making fake objects also, people have a really incredible ability to misuse these kind of stuff. For example, videos of politicians or other important people are being deepfaked. For the first time it is being discussed that AI processes could digitally resurrect actors who have already died. You can think about the moral implications yourself. Quite a dangerous thing for everyone to have access to. While deepfakes might not be able to directly harm someone, it certainly can destroy the trust between people and force people in desperation. The way things are going, soon maybe no one can tell the difference between the fake and the original. Isn't that a quite terrifying possibility? You can just imagine it. Millions of people believing some nonsense that was saved by a deepfake. Joe Biden. Isn't it heartwarming? Could you not joke about this? This is a serious problem that could be a major threat to our society. What makes things even worse is that you can't really protect yourself. 